If the Los Angeles Lakers were a public company, what would be its fair value price? Since the Lakers are a private entity within a private institution, the NBA, it's difficult to find solid accounting figures, but there are some. Let's start with the most recent Forbes valuation of NBA teams, which came out in late 2021. The Lakers are the third most valuable franchise, with the Golden State Warriors at number two and the New York Knicks at number one. The Lakers have a valuation of $5.5 billion, with operating income of $63 million. That gives the Lakers a 1.14% profit margin, with a P.E. ratio of 87.3, according to the numbers provided. But we need to get more information, and that takes us back to 2011, a good decade ago. In 2011, the Lakers were second, valued at $643 million, with operating income of $24.3 million. That gave the 2011 Lakers a profit margin of 3.77% and a P.E. ratio of 26.46. Now it's time to determine the operating income growth over the last 10 years. The operating profits growth rate of the Lakers is a solid 10%. So next we need to determine how many shares the Lakers will have. Because that's really impossible to figure without being an insider within the Lakers, let's just assume there are 100 million shares. With 2021 operating profits at $63 million, we get an earnings per share EPS of 63 cents. All this is important because it will be plugged into a discounted cash flow calculator to determine the fair value price of the Lakers. Before we determine the Lakers' fair value price, let's recap all the necessary numbers and figures. The Lakers have an EPS of 63 cents, a P.E. ratio of 87.3, and operating profit growth of 10%. The Los Angeles Lakers have a fair valuation of $6.56 billion. With a current valuation of $5.5 billion, if the Lakers were to be sold today, it should be sold for $6.5 billion. And this only takes into account how much the Lakers make and an outside valuation. We can assume that Forbes included such things as brand power, relevancy, LeBron James being on the team, and the fact it's only one of 30 NBA teams. But the premium factor is important to consider as well. For example, in 2013, Forbes valued the Los Angeles Clippers at $430 million. But the very next year in 2014, Steve Ballmer, the former CEO of Microsoft, bought the Clippers for $2 billion. That means he paid 4.65 times more than what the Clippers were worth. So by that similar logic, if the Lakers were up for sale today, someone would have to pay almost $9 billion for the franchise. And that makes sense because there are only 30 teams in the NBA and the Lakers basically have a monopoly in its region and fan base. So what are your thoughts? How much do you think the Lakers are worth today? Comment below. And as always, take care of your money.